Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, do you mind coming with me? I'm going to get some coffee. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, awesome. what's your name? Um, I'm Hunter Williams. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your major? Um, I'm studying political science um, and history with a minor in Spanish. That's great. Um, are you a junior in school? Um, I'm actually a sophomore for MD. Gonna start my junior year next year. That's great. So, I heard you're the student body president. Is that true? This is true. I've been serving um, since the beginning of February, um, and my term goes through December. It's, it's a fun time. So what is your favorite TED Talk? My favorite TED Talk, you know, there's one from somebody, a, a really um, great author named Chiba Manda Ngozi Adichie. Um, she has a really great TED Talk on the idea of the single story and how that's limiting um, on other people's perceptions of others. When did you first hear about TEDx Austin College? Oh yeah, so that's a great question. So I first heard about it my freshman year because of a good friend of mine who was pretty involved with the um, event that happens. Um, when did you attend your first TEDx event? I actually first got to go this past fall, um, and it was a really, really great program. I would definitely recommend it. If you could choose a TEDx speaker, dead or alive, who would you choose? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think I might have to go with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who's on the Supreme Court right now. Um, she has really great ideas on law, and it's just a really inspiring figure in my opinion. Do you think we're going to Mars? You know, I don't. I couldn't tell you about that, but if you go and watch Dr. Peter Schultz's TED Talk um, on on that certain subject, um, he can give you more information about that. That's great. When is this year's 2019 TEDx event? So this year's 2019 TEDx event is happening September 28, 2019, here at Austin College, and I hope to see you all there. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Oh hey. Oh hey. Um, I'm actually in a rush to go to rehearsals, but what's up? Uh, what's your name? I'm Kiana Mars. Oh, okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your major? I'm actually triple majoring. I am majoring in art, media studies, and psychology. Nice. Are you a junior? I'm actually a sophomore, but a lot of people think that I'm a freshman. So where are we right now? We are in Craig Music Hall. Okay. What are you involved in here on campus? I am president of Black Expressions. I am a public affairs media intern, and I'm also a part of the chamber orchestra, hence why we are here right now. Okay. What's the most exciting thing about TEDx? I would have to say the most exciting thing about TEDx is definitely the knowledge that I gain. I've been here on, for two years, and I love absolutely every single speaker. Even though they're different, I love the different um, ideas and thoughts that they have to give to the audience. Where do you see this event going in a few years? In a few years, I definitely see more students coming. Even though we do have a big um, population of students that do come, I see even more. How culturally engaging is TEDx Austin College? Culturally engaging? I feel like it's very culturally engaging. Um, one of my favorite professors actually here on campus, Dr. Lisa Brown, did a talk in 2016, even though I wasn't here, I did see it on YouTube, about a racial topic, and also Anissa Centers did a topic last year on women in the professional field, which I thought was very, very enlightening and culturally awakening. So it's safe to say that Lisa Brown's your favorite speaker? And also Anissa Centers. Okay. How do you feel about this year's upcoming event? I am super excited. Like I said before, um, every time I go, I gain new knowledge, and I'm excited to gain more knowledge. And also, I'm going to be filming the event as a public affairs and media intern, so I get to capture the enjoyment and interactions of the people there. So I'm super excited, but I do have to go to rehearsals right now, but it was good talking to you. It was nice having you. Thank you. Hello, uh, is the president in today? Hey, hey, come on in. I'm doing good. So, how's your day going? Going great. That's great. How about you? I'm doing good. Good. So what are your plans for this September? Well, September's always busy on campus. I'm looking forward to the fall semester, but I do happen to have September 28th circled on my calendar for TEDx Austin College. Nice. Are you a big fan of TEDx Austin College? Huge fan. Um, last year I attended my first TEDx Austin College event. I had heard all about it from a year earlier uh, and I was excited to go and watch and see what it was all about and it was just an amazing event so I can't wait to, for this year as well. Nice. This will be, if I'm not mistaken, your second TEDx? That's right. Um, I actually missed 
The first one, my, my first one, it was just before I took office as the new president. So I missed it, but I heard all about it. And so I was really, really looking forward to seeing what all the talk was about. And last year just was amazing. And uh, I'm looking forward to this next one. That's great. What are some big ideas you've heard about on campus? So we have all kinds of big ideas happening in a lot of different places. Um, one big idea is we're expanding and deepening uh, the writing experience for our students in the classroom, and I think that's going to be great. And then we're doing things outside of the classroom, too, that are exciting. Things like uh, water polo. We started water polo this year for uh, men's and women's teams. The men competed in the fall, the women just competed this spring and just finished their season, oh, less than a week ago, where they competed in the Division Three Championships, and they did something, they made history actually, they did something no other first year team has ever done. They finished second in Division Three, um, which was a wonderful accomplishment. Excited for them. And then maybe something else, a big idea that's exciting, we started eSports here at Austin College this year. And we went from no eSports to all of a sudden starting a club where 39 students signed up. And we have a, very, a vibrant eSports team. They just competed in their first big competition about two weeks ago. Uh, also finished second uh, in that. And they have established themselves as one of the great uh, eSports teams actually in the country. So we're really excited about that too. That's great. What would you talk about if you could give a TED Talk? Hmm, good question. Gosh, I, I think I would be tempted to talk a little bit about leadership uh, and what that is and bring, I guess, my perspective to what leadership is. And I think maybe another topic I'd be interested in is talking about really what the state of higher education is in the country these days uh, and the value of college. So I think those might be two topics I'd be interested in. Wow, that sounds amazing. Will you be signing up to be a 2020 speaker? Oh my goodness, I haven't thought about that. Um, I guess that depends on whether I'm nominated. All right, thank you for your time. You bet, good to see you. Good Thanks to see for you. stopping by. Yeah, no problem. You have a great day. You too. Oh, hey there. Hello. What's your name? Antonio. Nice to meet you. Um, do you mind if we go this way? I got some homework to finish. Yeah, for sure. Where are we right now? We are in the lovely Idea Center. Yes. So what's your major? I am doubling, double majoring in chemistry and Spanish. Nice. Are you a junior, I want to say? I am a junior. Third year. <laughs> what are you involved in here on campus? Ooh. Good question. So, I do a variety of things, and by variety, it is quite a variety. <laughs> so, I'm a cellist for the Sherman Symphony. I also do bioinformatics research with Dr. James Hebda. I am also interning for the Office of Public Affairs. And fun fact, I will be co-president for Roderack next year. Nice, you're really involved. Is there a social media for this um, TEDx event? Yes, you just search up TEDx Austin College and that is the handle. How many speakers would this event have? This event is going to have six speakers. Nice. How important is diversity in TEDx? Diversity is very important because with diversity you get to relate to a a grander audience and you get to express more ideas that you wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. Nice. Is TEDx just for people interested in science? No. Every single talk is based on the speaker and a lot of the talks that I've been to have not been science based. <laughs> so you got you get to experience everything. Nice. What are you most excited for in this year's TEDx event? I'm excited for the turnout that is going to happen because y'all have done a lot of 
off-campus outreach and it's really exciting to see who's gonna show up and from where. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good luck studying. Thank you. See you later. Later. Oh hey, what's your name? My name is Bella Matapar. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Hey, uh, where are we? We are in Able Library right now. Mm, nice. Uh, what are you studying right now? I am a public health major and a creative writing minor. Nice. You're graduating next year? No, uh, 2021. Nice. What are you currently working on? Um, we are currently working on uh, the off-campus promotion committee. That's for what again? That's for um, campus ambassador program. Nice. What does that entail? Can I go get a book? Yeah, come on, let's go. Okay. Um, campus ambassador program really just entails people um, from different campuses, prospective students specifically, who um, we are interested in coming to our TEDx event. Oh, okay, that's nice. What does TEDx stand for? TED stands for Technology Entertainment Design. Oh, okay. What has been your favorite TEDx theme so far? Definitely pieces of a mosaic. Nice. What are you excited about? I'm excited about seeing the audience grow. Hmm. So what's your vision for this year's TEDx Austin College? Vision? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the theme is shifting perception. So really, we're just trying to find a broad enough theme to be the umbrella for some of the speakers and the talks that we have. With shifting perceptions, um, our interpretation of things differs based on each person and we're excited to see what we can do with it. All right, thank you for your time. Thanks. Oh, hey there. Hi. What's your name? I'm Fokumban. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So where are we right now? Right now we're at the Austin College Foster Art Complex building. Um, I'm looking at the painting so we'll be home for the art competition that is coming soon. That's cool. So are you a junior? Nope, I'm a sophomore. So what's your major? Um, I'm majoring in psychology and minoring in East Asian Studies and Art. What are you involved in here on campus? Um, I'm involved in SOMA, which stands for Student Organization of Modern Arts, and also Student International Organization, and the Linterns, which is um, the Public Affairs Department for Austin College. When did you start watching TEDx videos? I started to watch TEDx video when I was young, when I first started to learn English. Um, it really improved my English skills as a Vietnamese. And also, as I grow up, I just started to watch more TED videos because it's resourceful and it is very inspiring. Is there a social media for this year's event? Yes, there's a, um, a Facebook page as well as an Instagram page. It's called TEDx Austin College. Go follow us for more information about giveaways and also general information about the event coming soon. What TED Talk are you most excited for? I'm most excited for Seth Howard's TED Talk, which will be about the millennial financial crisis in 2008. He's a junior in Austin College. Who's your dream TEDx speaker? My dream TEDx speaker would be Billie Eilish. Um, she's very inspiring for um, this generation music taste and yeah, she's very inspiring in general. I heard you're on the TEDx executive team for artwork. What is the inspiration for this year's artwork? Since the theme this year is shifting perception, I really get inspiration from the Penrose Triangle, which was created by a Swedish artist. His name is Oscar Rodersvard. And back in the days, it's like, the Penrose Triangle is an optical illusion, and I think it fit perfectly with the theme this year, shifting perception. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, is this Professor Brown's office? Uh, yes, I'm Lisa Brown. So, what is your field of study? I am a social psychologist. Are you currently doing any research? Yes, I am doing some research with students. Is this is the Hopkins building, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, it is the Hopkins Social Science Center. So, TEDx, are you familiar with the event? Uh, yes, I am. I was a speaker. What did you speak on? I spoke on ways to get people who are different from each other to get along better in our multicultural society. That's great. Wow, you have a very full library. Do you have a favorite book? Um, probably uh, my favorite book, even though actually I'm a person who's not uh, a great reader, um, is this book called The Marriage Go Round. 
what growth have you seen with previous TEDx to last year's TEDx? Um, one of the things is I just think uh, so many of the activities surrounding TEDx, so for example, like the idea station they have outside of it, just to help involve the audience more, has gotten better and better each year. What has been your favorite TED Talk? Mine? Um, <laughs> no, but for real, I, I, uh, I think a lot of the talks have really been great and inspiring. What professor here at Austin College would you like to give a TED Talk? That is hard. Again, I think there are many people who I think would give a great talk, and there are also several who have already given a great talk. But, um, you know, maybe Tom Blake talking about some of the connections between the alt-right and the imagery that they use from the medieval period, or Felix Harcourt could talk about the, the Ku Klux Klan, or Aaron Cobblesmith could talk about issues of gender and sexuality in the media. What is their fields of study? Um, Tom is in English, Felix is in history, and Aaron is in media studies. You sound very passionate about TEDx Austin College. Could you tell me more? Uh, certainly. I think TEDx Austin College has been a way for Austin College to really be part of the TED movement of trying to have talks that inspire people, that inform people, or that challenge people, and that are just accessible to anybody uh, who's got an internet connection. Mm. Where can I buy a ticket? Uh, you can go to the Austin College webpage and specifically to TEDx Austin College and find the link there. What does the purchase of a ticket include? Uh, the swag includes things like a t-shirt, a tote bag, and also lunch. Thank you for your time, Professor. You're welcome.